starting on that defense. And they want to see more from Rain here. He's going to have a tall task. The A bathroom rifler can turn it into deathmatch when he's on his day. And look at this, a little aggressive jaunt. Broki and Rop silently looking for a fight as Yabby hanging 10 right now. They're going to boost. Let's see if they Ooh. can find a fight here. Can be aiming. Oh, look at that. Huh? Ready for each other here. <laughs> I've countered your counter. Leaves us four on four, a little off kilter. Yabby and Rob's ships in the night. Nothing to report. Misinformation. Twist has no idea how that's happened. Rob's, he can't explain it. Yeah, but they don't know about Rob's. Heroic have no idea here. Tessa's coming back. He might get caught off guard. Yeah, but he's worried about Monster. This could catch him. It's really up to the timing. He's still smoking heaven. He doesn't know that Rob's is on the other side here. He's past them. Yabby, assuming it's clear, it's where he came from. Maybe Rops can have the element of surprise on this They're not one. going to clear this. This should be an opportunity for the sharpshooter Rob. to hit some shots. Oh. There it is from Rops. Downs one, needs another. Shush meets his faith. Oh. It's all good in the Faith Clan hood. Lockdown and a one on two for Yabby. He's been looking good. Comfortable on this stage, but he needs to get that bomb down time against him. As are Rain and Rops. Rops on the hunt for more. Looking for more. It's Rain to hold on. And FaZe do get that strong start. Another pistol for them. Yeah, well, that's how Nuke started, right? They grabbed that pistol. They were able to get off to that flyer. They, they had a very, very good look in on Nuke. And well, now I, I like what Jacob brought up on the desk. The fact that they did have a strong CT side on Nuke. Well, now they get to continue their CT campaign. But this is all Rops, right? The namesake, keeping it cool here. He could have gone for fights earlier than that, but just wanted to sit, wait, bait him in. And that's a massive round. So sure, Twist goes down for it, but it doesn't matter. They still grab the pistol. And they're actually going to leave Heroic wanting. No plan. Look at uh, a bit of a full eco here. Sure, there's a molly, a couple of flashes and P250s, but they do want to buy into the next round of play. There is a window of time which is closing as uh, FaZe sprung forward towards A. They now have a good idea that there isn't too much pressure coming. It's all about to be on Carrigan. Oh, look at this. A farm for Carrigan. Four. And the crowd demands more. It's a second. It's clean. And it's a lot of cash as well. Yeah. yeah, exactly. $2,400 farmed up for the longevity of this defense. Uh, what are they going to operate with, though? They're going to get some upgrades through. Carrigan obviously making an awful lot of money right here, and it's going to be great for the confidence to just line him up and take him down in that type of a fashion. Yeah. He's seeing Abba in his head right now. Money, money, money. All right, well, we know that Heroic were going to go for this buy. Light on in several departments, but this is a bonus round for FaZe here with their level of investment. Just wanted you to keep your eyes on Yabby. Well, here he is. It's not the monster tunnel, it's the short pipe. And already calling underpass clear. Continuing to force the issue. Carrigan again to be tested. Will his MP9 fill the feed against the AK? What a flash! Yabby doesn't seem to think so. Despite the blind spray, he's down there. What a push from Rain! The inaccuracy costs him. And these rifles, look at the damage dealt to Heroic, but nothing lethal on this bonus round from FaZe Clan. Yeah, bombs confirmed right now. I'm not sure Rops is coming for this right now, just hanging out in the club. Crying, his teammates are in the dirt here, but uh, some exit, that'd be tidy. Broki as well looking for some damage. Rain felt like he had the jump there, literally through the smoke and straight into the jaws. So yeah, sure, some damage done, but Nothing converted here, and Heroic will get their first T-side round. As look how diligent they're being. I think they might have a good idea. They might find him. This would be a little bit of an unusual twist. Rops being stared at. Yabby's taking his hands off the mouse. He gets him down. Nice catch, traded. Uh, that AK won't fall into enemy hands. And Heroic successful on the first buy. Well, FaZe can uh, get straight back into the mix here, but this is the flash of Yabby. Yeah, you can see not completely blind right there, so still able to connect the dots there, and this is the aggressive maneuver from Rain, trying to make something from the mess that started to cascade out of control on that B site. Definitely some heroic fans here in attendance. Not the crowd favorites, that's for sure, but still trying to make some noise as Roki, he's going to upgrade into an AWP, and Carrigan will get the good graces of that scout, so still something to wield here as once more, a heavy start for Heroic over towards B. 
Kadian just going to sell a bit of a default play and see that one way. See that dropped on down. Keep your eyes on that. We'll see how Heroic want to use it as this game continues. Rop's trying to chip away. No damage done, but this nade, it might find, yeah, oh. a hefty target. That is huge damage. 100 points of health lost across three of them. Yeah, there he is, a ringing. And they're wobbling into the site. Look at this. They're already in. Yabi kicks open with one. Traded back, Rain and Robs need more, it's Robs again. And look at the te pressure from Tessus. He gives them the moment's respite, rotation on its way. Molly will hold them or force Have them the fight. into the fight, force back. Chipped away at Carrigan spotted. Resmoke Heaven limits the options of Broke. Oh! He didn't hit it. And Tessus will plant it. There is a kit available, but it's unlikely Brokey even gets there. He's got the big gun. Can he pick up a big round? It's so valuable into the next as well. Does Brokey fancy his chances? Looking to isolate a jewel hiding in plain sight. On the bomb site was Cadian, but it's Tessas immediate to swing. And you can talk about heroic. One of the things you cannot disagree with is their team play. Oh, 100%, right? This team is built on that bond of brotherhood, right? Oh, look who we got here. Ah. Crucial. Into Gonna the be breach. Taken to the stage, of course. Yeah, just uh, soaking it all in. I'm sure there's a bunch of British lads out here to support the boys. Or I think the lads as they've been uh, dubbed. That's right. But once it's these two scopes trying to retake, they've lost the side right here in that teamwork. You get it defined there by that Tessa's trades down. Desperately wanting that fist bump. But this is it, this team, they've gone through an awful lot together. And one of the toughest opponents they could have drawn here in the quarterfinals. Oh, it doesn't get tougher. All right, Rain. You don't see these on the uh, eco round too often. Kill would be great here, but now he's been spotted. We'll have to dip on back for a moment. See no rush here from Heroic. So they establish exactly what type of buy they're up against. They will be able to close this down. They have an awful lot in the rifle department and the util as well. So stand with the opener. Rain still noted. Falling into place nicely. Yeah, and Yabby can walk into the B site whenever he pleases here. We can see it currently being left wide open by this silent rotation of Carrigan and Brokey. I just saw Yabby shaking his head. I wonder if he was just saying, I'm not hearing anything. Nothing to report. I thought he was just getting the hair out of his eyes. That too. But it is wide open for the taking. And they are going to remain diligent. Check that out. Full Molotov and Nade dump into the site. Smoke is there on Heaven and the options so limited. Yeah, a Hail Mary through the smoke from Carrigan. They'd like a little damage, but it's likely they get hunted by this Yabby Mac 10, a deliberate investment. Playing the economics game of Counter-Strike. Yabby gets nothing off of his Mac 10. Cajun will have to do it with the AWP. Taken from him and recovered by his team. Two frags, not too shabby for FaZe. They won't be complaining about that. But need a whole lot more when these guns come out. Yeah, this is where it really needs to start, right? They were doing great guns over there on the Nuke CT side. They were stepping up and the two players highlighted was Brokey and Rops, right? Those two, when the chips fell down, multi-kills, great in some of the tighter scenarios they had. Now AWP available for Brokey into a round like this. The finances just aren't there. And one of the men that you need to keep your eyes on is Rain, right? How is he going to approach this? He likes to be aggressive, he likes to hold on to a lot of real estate. Heroic are going to know that as well. You need to deal with Rain's presence early. See if you're able to put a lasso on him here, corral him. As uh, you can see, they were worried about that aggressive incendiary, not in play. The finances just aren't there for phases. An aid stack lined up, and this is looking like a cheeky one. This does look cheeky. Yeah, so trying to harass any players on the jiggle down here towards Monster, it's very common. Ooh. As the nades, the flak damage, they come on through. I don't think that molly quite landed. Cool idea. Another yes. molly, so Yabby had the space. They're gonna flash back and duel for this. Nice. You can see a nice little info and utility exchange right there from both teams. Able to negate one another for now, but again, resources Ooh. limited. Rain has to hit this one. Good off angle. Not gonna be able to save his smoke. He's forced to deploy it by Shush's Molotov. Two of them locked down here. It means that Rops has to rotate back and consider long if Rain is able to push up and find this timing here onto Tessa as it will alleviate a lot of pressure, but realistically it's on Carrigan and Twist for the initial exchange. Carrigan aware 
And looking for more, gets two on the spray. And a two-man advantage, but Tessus, he is coming to play. If he can get that advantage, he's got Rain that could cut Kadian off at the pass. Rain will hear this. Rain is going to hear all of these footsteps right now. So even though they're destined to give this one a crack, if Carrigan can make his way around the world in time, they should have a good idea of this one. Yeah, don't even yeah. worry. You're not going to get too far. Rain's got you covered. Yeah, well, that round is done. Tessus, choice to be made. And opts for Bank as his hidey hole. A big frag posted. Just the one from Rain, but it's a, it's a hefty one. It confirms the round, even though some handiwork from Carrigan got him with that advantage. So he tied up. Three apiece. Nice round to win there as well. Not having an awful lot, right? Not having all the goodies, and now they will. That'll be the change. So Carrigan there doesn't get flashed by the initial exchange. Steps on out, mows down two. A good wombo combo with him and Twist on the site. And with what Maui brought up about Yabby being that monster lurk, it is going to be something they're going to be looking to pressure throughout the game. Both teams in with the buy, both teams with the AWP. And oh, Brokey aggressive here. They've only gone for the playground, Molly. They didn't drop out these stairs. So having a good idea that Orp was trying to go for that pick. Tessus with the extinguish. It's a three-man ace start here from FaZe. And Shush is working on this connection control. With the door blown off, he will have to worry about any short presence. You can see the one-two punch established for this long toilet. Carrigan on that short side committed. Heroic ready themselves for... Carrigan's mollied here. Bit of territory. Yeah, he should be dead, but he actually goes forward of it. He lives. Oh, he got away? And he gets away from it. An advantage seized. By FaZe's leader, Tassus. Ensures it was momentary. Interesting division of their defense now. Rops on an island. Making friends with volleyballs. In the meantime, they sneak and they snake up Banana. Brokey will have to respond to this. There is a potential for that flank. Rops from party eventually, but Brokey has to stop them. Slow them down. He lets it go. Whistles past Shush. And his center of mass, another chance from Rops, gets one. Quick to this flank side, Tessus, Cadian, activate to defend it. That bomb now ticket, rolls now reversed, and it stays level. Cadian's up, on to Carrigan. Still a really hard round to win here for FaZe. You can see Twist, he's having to rotate back in, he's worried about pushes down towards CT. Rops still working on long, bomb halfway gone. He doesn't know they're both there. And no smoke for this, this bathroom positioning. Oh gosh, Rops does have to turn up the heat now, speed it up. A perfect post plant now. And no smoke, as you say. Is this near impossible? They don't have the time. The round's over. They have to go. Heroic will take another. Locked on down for four. Yeah, that right there, there just wasn't, there was too many questions. You could see, even as they were retaking the side, they were mollying, they didn't realize that they had played the most standard setup after the bomb had gone down on the default plan. So just playing in those bathrooms, you can jump around divider, you can be very annoying, but this is the kill we missed. Tessus onto- Yeah, I mean, all of their rounds have come with a, a hard fought. Overpass just leaves a, a bit of a bad taste in the mouth for me as far as FaZe is concerned. They've lost it twice here. A 16-3 loss to Bad News Eagles and a 16-13 loss to Na'Vi, so- Understandable for the pick then. Yeah, the Bad News Eagles one really sticks out like a sore thumb. 16-3 loss, I'm Ooh. pretty sure it was their map choice. Yeah, they're coming towards Reign's domain. He's made a name for himself in this particular part of the map. Will Heroic be able to topple him? The Architect. Not looking. Not looking, and only the one. It's Tessus and Stown. Good for it as they accelerate. Look at the molly. It should contain them. Stown already burrows deep into the A site to facilitate the plant. Rops from bank. Smoke builds upon it. Carrigan oh. on the flank, but nice it's rocked. What a shot onto Stown. Limits their chances now. Yabby has to get a move on. Try and assist his leader in closing this one down. Well placed Smoke. Two flashes as well for later. Carrigan crawling. And Cadian orping. They've already come through. What a headshot. Rops is on one, but Yabby with one HP and two to find. It's impossible with Rops in the server. A highly impactful one from Robin Cool. And important as well, just not to allow this streak of Heroic to start to build here, right? Making sure that you can go back and forth at least. So that's good work from FaZe. 
A dicey one as well. Touch and go for moments there. But well handled. And a really nice shot here from Rops. You Whoa. can see just actively looking for those fights. Good stuff from him. Really feeling himself today as Rops. And he's going to be a necessary component here as he just keeps going. Frag after frag. Denying Heroic their fifth for now. And forcing them into a bit of financial disarray. So, Phaser working hard for this. Flash and go Is here. So, yeah, they're, you're hoping they play close towards Monster for this. You want to be able to overrun them with these pistols, and well, they're obliging right now. Yeah, that flash could be worth its weight in gold. Not if he's in forward. the smoke. He could go past him, and they might just meet him. Great screens, charging Carrigan. He gets nothing done, but twists. It's his turn. Mows them all down on the MP9. That'll feel good. Eight of phases, frags coming from sprays like that. Dealing with these Ecos and benefiting, profiting from it with that SMG. Might give him a little bit of extra cash going forward here. The smoke over vision, you can see that. Solid haul so far. I'm just curious off the back of that, because when you take a timeout, right, you're expecting them to change something up. So does Carrigan think, hey, let's try something a bit more aggressive? Do we want to try a different move? Is there a certain area of the map we want to fight? Well, it's a 2-3 start, so nothing different. The double double lag of Molly. It yeah. means that Tessas cannot push in towards Playground. It gives a timing, which means now he has to be aware of Rain potentially pushing up. Might slow his crawl on the default to take back that space towards Playground, Fountain, Party. You name it, plenty of angles to have to worry about here. Robs, he's getting an early test, and it's Yabby put to rest. Advantage phase, big round, lots at stake. See how they really use Rops as the X Factor here, as that rotating player. Some rounds he's over towards A, some rounds he's over towards B. And if he's hitting shots, you can use him as a weapon, you can put him more forward. I know that people associate Rops with a bit more of the cerebral play, a bit more clutchy, but his aim's great. This guy, he can hit some shots. And if Carrigan's feeling it, wanting to set him up, if Rops is hitting those necessary frags, then yeah. You're going to allow him to be that crowbar to open up rounds. It'd be a bit more jarring, exactly like you just saw onto Yabby. Really like this uh, A setup. Rain and Brokey going to be working together. It will be Brokey's responsibility, I imagine, for that long side. He's starting to maneuver forward. Are they not considering this? Tessus is given an opportunity. Rain will be given the responsibility to hold. Long smoke, but he's already through. Tessus. Up to no good. Looking for some mischief. Looking for some trouble. He's been found by Rops. Again, we say his name. As he extends they might just the save. lead for yeah, FaZe. And save. they send Heroic running. They're even chasing. Running to the hills. Oh, and he tags him through the wall. Broke, he can take the AWP away, but Cadian holds on. Just for survival. Looks good for a sixth. A good scavenge as well. Rain takes the reward. Lost himself a little bit there, I feel, from Heroic. They had multiple phase players right where they wanted them, right? You could see that pressure that was mounting from the long and the short side there, but they weren't able to push. And with well, the pressure, as soon as Tessas was noted with that smoke, you know, Rops is coming back over to clear that. This is how it opens. So Rops doing an awful lot of work here. He's dealing with a lot, dealing with the short push as well as the leak over towards long. There was no pressure coming in through that short side to try and collapse down on them. So they didn't have the tenacity to take the fight against Rain and Brokey, knowing that they were pinned. That round was all Rops. You can see what it's done to Heroic and ouch, down stomachs, da damage. Losing over half his health to the flame. Readjusting their game, it's Rain and Brokey. A dynamic duo to be cleared out by this heroic assault. You've got to put some weight towards this Cadian AWP when you've seen the sacrifices others have made, juggling weapons now. But still, three rifles is all heroic have to boast. Yeah, you want to allow him to work at least. He might be able to catch Brokey jumping in the side or posting up at an angle. CT's like to stay in transition here, but Phaser burrowed down early, knowing that this buy is a bit more hodgepodge. Flash and go. Here they come. Oh, oh, oh it's ah. Brokey with the collateral. There should be nothing more, nothing more to be said. The bomb on the floor. And a tag onto Tessus. Through the corner, through the head. Brokey, a third. 
And Kadian won back, but this one's set. Look at him just springing into action, Brokey, right? At the start of the round, you know, he's sitting back, waiting. Now he's pushing, now he's fighting. Now he's trying to hunt him down here. Don't let him keep this AWP. Remove it from play. Get yourself seven. FaZe, they do like to warm into their games. He's heard it. He's heard it. And they're definitely looking hot now. Kadian the same. On that. Oh, oh, but he takes down another. Fear the Reaper. Fear that offer. But the round all the same goes FaZe's way, but he does humble the hunt. Yeah, a couple of nice skills there. Making sure they can't get too aggressive. Roki's AWP it will not be picked up here. You can see Twist and Rops, they've been called off. They want to keep these AKs. They know they need residual cash, so a little bit overzealous. There's more than enough money for another Brokey AWP. It's all good, but managing their finances. You get aggressive, you get shut down like that. Kadian denies you on that hunt. Yeah, you, you better make sure you hold on to your goodies. But that's all they have to work with here. And this was great from Brokey. It just feels like he's really starting to put lightning in a bottle here. Those shots, we're seeing them hit through the walls. I'm not sure he's so confirmed that that is the case, but he's hitting absolutely everything right now. Tags through the walls, the corners, the heads. He's not missing. It's just so hard when you save an orb because you want to allow it to work. Yeah. You want to let Katie pick, but you only have pistols. So the thing is, you want those to group up to be in a position to explode. You want to try and set Katie up on some lines, and it's about balancing between the two of them. And well, this side is the harder of the two to do that is Carrigan, really? All right. Not much in the way of support. He will dump out on another. It's the same play. You don't want to get done by that monster nose flash. You want to make sure you're just far enough into that tunnel to avoid it. And he has support on the site here yet again. Well, they're very limited in their resources. That two smokes and two flashes is all heroic have to boast. Sure, a Molotov as well. It's going to have to be perfect. And it's going to have to be a slip up from FaZe. Otherwise, this one will read eight. Brokey in the right place. Carrigan as well on that M4. Brokey combines, shutting them down. Shadow spotted, spray not good. Kadian and Yabby making it look threatening. And Stown's got another. It has to be Rain and Rops. Damage control now. Into the site. Nate does damage. Stown has spotted Rain. Surely got him trapped. And Kadian's going elsewhere. Oh! There's a shot out of Stown, and he's looking for no scopes, looking for trouble. Rain battle oh, betrays, oh. and they do shut it down. Stown three rips the orp out of Brokey's hands and shows him how to use it. Yeah, and that feels like some of the most impact Stown has had since that first half of Nuke, where he was in. Have to save guns if they lose a site immediately here, and if they lose all the guns, Heroic could still win the half eight seven. Wow. So this round means a lot for FaZe. They need to fight for this tooth and nail with their investments. This has been quite the layup from Stown and Heroic. But down goes Yabby. A gift back. It's Brokey. Shuts down the aggression on the short pipe. Carrigan will remain caged. Information goes both ways. Cadian spotted out in the underpass. Bomb on his back during that. Rob's a lot to do, but Tessa's lacks a days a call and into the scope, into the spray. More required and shush comes to play. 3v4. That does a lot here. They don't have to keep committing and normally they'd be expecting rain, but because of the weirdness of this buy here, rain's actually over towards B with this 5-7. So if that plays into Heroic's finish, might be misinfo, but having to operate in a bit of a gamble here. They're setting up a boost. You can see Twist elevated now. If they all come in the short side and they scout past him, you see dropping back, so not so exposed. Things are about to get weird. This has to be a cracker of a shot as they enter the site. Or it will be that left, right. Good night. Nice from Twist. Holding on for FaZe Clan. Their hopes of winning out the half extended. It's down, though. It's Cadian. And with 30 seconds to play for, looking to disrupt with Rain. Can't find anything on that 5 7. Stan does go down. And Cadian will retreat. It looks like FaZe Clan have done enough. They will have a buy into the next, and they will win out this defensive half. Yeah, you got to reiterate that. It's a massive round. So FaZe, that opener, boost and broke here. Bang, Yabby dead again in the initial stages of that, removing a real thorn in their side over towards B. Here it is. Bang. Yeah, no flash. If it was, it was mistimed, especially with the boost. Oh, well timed. We'll credit it to the defense here. And this boost coming into play. Shush just dry peeking in before Kadian's U2 hits the ground. And well, it will be Katie and saving that AWP yet again.
Something, something, Zaiwu. Uh, that's the, the word of the month here, I've heard. Yeah. I think there's a lot of excitement to see Mathieu Herbeau take to this stage. The last major, but the first for France. And the number one in the world on his rookie year will be taken to this stage later. But we've got plenty of heroes on the stage already. Man's gonna fight. He wants it. Oh, and he loses it. Tessus flattens the aggressive Norwegian. And Robs, he seems to have taken an aggressive flair himself. Forward position in that underpass. He will be relaying any steps he hears. Yeah, information is key from that position and will be unexpected this early on in the rounds here. So they've rerouted. It's also forced that rotation to Brokey back over. So if they, oh, they might get caught off guard here. Robs. This is something, isn't it? Robs, 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 Robs. Backs are turned, backs this. are turned. Oh, you can't write this. And Tessus, he gets a face full of lead. A lot of communication required now as the pressure is on. Turns around, Brokey down. Still takes one with him, but still Robs a problem. Gets him down to a 2v3 and they strike in perfect unison from either side, an impossible 180. This Rob's X Factor, it has been something different, a whole different flavor, 15 kills for him. Always in positions they're not quite expecting, a nuisance in the flank. A perfect word for it, a nuisance. Hey, you see Tessus there, he's told to consider the flank, they're not going yet, turns around, he's already there and he's playing to contain. He's just playing to contain, sitting in an angle that you're never checking, you're never ready for. Yeah, playing it by the book, it's Rob's his book. Now shush. What's he supposed to do? Bomb fortified, twists, motivated to secure a 10th. Nine already in the bank and a 10-5 half. Sounds ideal at this point. It's almost par for the course in both of these maps, right? Nuke and now overpass. If both the teams get 10-5 on those respective first halves of play, they're, they're going to be very happy with that coming into the second half, you know? Look, a smile on the face, so it's good to see. Not under the pressure right now, not backs against the wall. The ones controlling the tempo, controlling the tone of this is heroic. Oof. Throughout this patch of rounds, think about the saves. Their buys have been subpar every single time. And uh, this is another one of those examples right here. And it doesn't come with that saved AWP. It comes with Brokey ready to take this fight. Yeah, full smorgasbord of different weaponry for Heroic to try and claw a sixth. A lot on Reign's plate here. Oh, and he gets away in time. Escorted by his teammates. Down, however, still kicking up a fuss early to the monster fight. Takes twists out of the equation for our 15th. Yeah, but now Reigns the space maker, the space taker. And again, just cornered, heroic, whether they know it or not. And that smoke will delay them. They have to respect it. And it buys time for Rain to continue to contain. Carrigan really doesn't want to eat that flashbang safe from it in his current position, and it's happening again upon the fade, damage inflicted. Looking for the finish, it's Rain, a masterful find, he gets both with the back's turn. Oh no! And Brokey onto Yabby as well, that is- First half boating very well, Cadian. Well, info exchange there, just making sure they are taking this space and they have shown some legs, so. Faze with an awful lot of the forces right now, make it all of them making their way up towards long. So Cadian's going to get a second chance at this and is actually just jump peeking for info here. So, oh, that's a lot and we'll drop back. He's seen at least three to four there. Look at Tessus, extra focus now as he knows. Contact imminent. Called upon to re-aggress, take space they know is not occupied. This is classic heroic. Stan might get mollied out of position here. Smokes are going to be coming in. They got four in the right place, Chad. Flash late, rain in, smokes up. And look at Tessus, he's set for success. Cadian combines, Carrigan down, the head of the snake. This Rops again though. And he has got a oh! perfect shot. Spots out another, the movement. So cool from Rops. They've got the bomb, they've got the sight. They should have the 11th. Heroic, giving everything they've got. Damage inflicted, it's heavy, but it's twists again for FaZe. One backs down. Trying as hard as he might, his twist though, with a left and a right, that is 11. Both pistols here for phase in this map, they've got three so far in the series. 
And that right there, it's all ROPs. It's all ROPs again, that impact. Because if they don't take down the players who are bathroom side over towards Divider, then the pressure is on phase. They're stuck in the site. 180 in terms of the jewels they were going to have oh. to take. But that is meaty from ROPs putting Heroic on roast here. This second one onto Tess is beautiful as well. And he is looking picture perfect now. They're hitting every shot coming their way and being able to warm into the game. Heroic, you took too long to close on Nuke. They just needed to get warmed up. Because FaZe are looking hot to trot right now. That's Six round advantage. Probably exactly what they're thinking. Ooh, Cadian. An unlikely candidate to take first blood into the second. A force. And certainly a force to be reckoned with. You see this info play immediately coming out here. Yabby Tessa starting to spring into action just to take back some more room. Now the scout is one of the biggest problems on a map like this if you're on the T side against a force buy. If it just tickles you, if it just tags you, you're down to such low HP and you might as well go back to spawn and pack it up. I've heard from some players, no point even playing out the round once you get tagged by the scout here. So they have to avoid Cadian, who has actually dropped back to quite a passive line. A Lurk Smoke dipped out front sight here. So that will keep him on notice. You see this is going to remove an awful lot of sight lines. You see players jump over towards Dice. Well, it limits the amount of angles he can watch and trying to spam away. If he hit a tag, oh. which he did. Oh. How does he find it? That's 55 damage. Here's the pressure. Cadian going to be hard pressed to keep contributing. Rotate is on its way. A double flank and a deagle from Stout. Need something. He needs something lethal. It's Brokey that lays down oh, the law. Again. Cadian knocking for more. It's Carrigan to shut him down. Good from Twist. He's got that AK and he's putting it to good use. Still up for debate though. Tessus, he's got the opportunity. Oh. Defended by Twist. Look at their health. That 5 7 could snap away, but he's staring at the smoke. Carrigan biding his time for that flank to close. An important conversion here for FaZe, just out of reach for a moment longer. You can't give Shush a look in here. He'll go for this if you give him a chance. Don't overstep oh. the mark. He Ooh. can't even get the first. <laughs> really good 3Ks from Twist in back-to-back -back rounds. Mr. Van Dolken there. Pistol and then the follow-up. Two very tense moments. They able to get themselves up to a commanding lead. It should only be a moment of time and less heroic. They want to throw their hat into the Comeback Kings conversation. I like the way you framed it, Chad. They took too long to close that first phase. They definitely do seem to be warming into things quite nicely here in the Accor Arena. Yeah, you let Brokey and Rops get online. You think of the two of them in the tail end of Duke just hitting everything. And Brokey with the AWP in the first half, he couldn't miss. Rops has been the X Factor, constantly finding impact here. It's been a great map from him so far. This is exciting, especially with Rops in the form he is. Sit back, relax, and bask in the brilliance. I don't think they got up to their traditional tricks on that first half heroic. You know, the desk wanted to highlight Yabby here and finding that space. He died in every single round. And they weren't even finding that many frags in towards the B site. It definitely worked for them in a few. And remember, one of the five rounds that Heroic posted in that first half. Oh, I'll take that one. One of those rounds was with a saved AWP and a couple of pistols and Stown getting a 3k, right? So uh, you have to look, they did struggle on their T half. Now as we turn our attention to FaZe's next gun round, right? They already have this massive advantage of the pistol with the conversions. They've got some extra cash. Their first gun round, they can take a few more risks. Looking really good, our FaZe now. And we do have Mirage as that third map, which is fitting, I think, for the two of them. We normally call Heroic the fakey boys. We know they like to get up some, to an some antics here. And oh, hello. One by one, they come. That's an AK-47, unless Brokey can deny it. Trying to hold on to it is Cadian. And Brokey looking for trouble, looking for that scavenged away rifle. But 13 will be secured, those comebacks. We saw what FaZe had in them. Do they clear him? What do you think? I think, uh, I think not. I was wrong. All right, well, Cadian, that hold on tight, they are coming. Gun in for him. In pursuit of that AK. Oh, Cadian does go down. Mission accomplished for FaZe Clan. 13 in the bank. Three away from forcing Mirage. And if Heroic can't make this as close as what FaZe did on Nuke, and I'm not even talking to 16-14, just starting to put something on the board here to show that they're competitive, all the momentum for map number three will be with FaZe. They will take all of that. You think about the second half of Nuke, it was all them up until it wasn't, and now this run that they're on, trying to throw Heroic around the server here. Their individuals showing up and it really is Rops at the top of the pops as they continue this win streak. Six consecutive with the close of the first half. The double molly is the extinguished. Brokey getting the move on here. An important round for Heroic if they don't 
silence this now. I don't think they ever will as far as overpasses is concerned. And Tessas in the face will take down Twists. That's an interesting head-to-head -head there. Twists just caught in transition, jumping up. Didn't have the accuracy. Uh, nice one for Heroic. Operating with an extra man now. An equal division of their defensive resources. Stown summoned. To tip the scales towards A, and it's going to be constantly swinging around, waiting for that communication. Because in Counter-Strike, information is power. Well, they've got bad info right now. They've over-rotated here. Teddy and Gone Beast down as well. Tessa's under pressure. Molly back. Ooh. They haven't run at him just yet, but oh, there's the chance, and Brokey removes him. Do they accelerate? They don't know the site's open. They don't know. Kaden, just in time, gets that smoke down to divide. And looking to conquer. Rain, oh, just the gap. Cadian burning, has to reposition. Got Rain on notice here in that AWP. Echo through his headset. Smoked off, flashed off. They need space and phase of taking it by force. If they get in, they win. Look at the amount of control they have. That's an angle and a half from Brokey. Baited, need another. Yabby again forces the shot, but they're not ready for Rain. One and done. A three on three, it emerges. Heroic, a necessary round in front of them, but how do you get in? <gasps> Rops, perfect, needs a finish. Perfection continues from the Estonian. Six bullets, make it less. Four, opts for the fresh mag, gets away with the reload, and he will keep racking them up. He has done enough. It could have only been stopped with Kadian's off on the site, and, and Kadian might not even hold on to this. Take a look at Carrigan starting to make his move. Really springing to life right now. Kadian having to move away from the radius of the bomb here, and oh, this one is going to be closed. Carrigan removes the orb. Oh. Everything gone, everything done. Captain on captain violence. <laughs> it's good to see the fans. We saw them marching across the bridge in full attendance here. And apparently Heroic can't. So if Heroic uh, want to make sure they don't lose all of the momentum here, the Danes, they're fizzling out right oh. now. And they're throwing aggression. You can see this two here, but look at it from Tessas. He did not stop until he found blood, looking for more as well, anticipating rain. Heroic have been given something to work with here. And it could all hang in the balance of this duel on Monster. Hard clear, Carrigan overlooks it. Rops will floor it, oh, so clinical. He's not missing. He is not, he wants Mirage. And Cadian and Stout. Looking to deny it. Well, this is the perfect four for a two-on-two two right now. Brother in arms, oh. the right-hand man is... Broken. Yeah, it's down. He's going to walk into this. He likes him. Oh, oh, he's oh. so quick. The Latvian doesn't hesitate. The AWP designed for long range, but he's comfortable up close. Near the captain's clutch now. Kedin's the only one been putting up numbers here. 17 for him. The next closest is down on 11. His team's gone missing when they need him most. And if he wants to inspire them, this one-on-two would be a great way to start. I'll tell you something, Chad. Acadian Clutch does tend to reinvigorate the heroic roster. Well, this is a gamble for him. He's rolling the dice. You can see this here with his positioning. He's hoping, he's praying that they come to him. And right now, he might have gambled correctly. Maybe. Acadian looking for trouble. Not ready for Rops. Another impactful round. 25 to 8. He is showing up when it matters most. And you've got the head-to-head. -head. It was highlighted by the desk before we got into this game. Rops versus oh. Stown. Well, Stown's had his map. Now it's Rops' turn. And this one sets us up for Mirage nicely here. But again, momentum, confidence being key. Heroic. Need to go beat their chests. And this map break because right now they are getting run over. Will it really be this thrashing? Will it be? Such a discrepancy. Heroic. Their map. Their choice. And FaZe boasting a 10-round lead. Can they finish clean? Limited resources for Heroic. Story of this map for them. Right. Flash for info. It's down. It's good. May have caught a glimpse. Brokey does not choose to pull the trigger. Doesn't have the opportunity. Carrigan starting to advance right into the lion's den. Just walk past one of them. Tessa's Cadian. It's still Yabby. Heroic. Given an advantage, a leg up. It could be momentary. Another. Rob's gone. The hero. Felled by Tessa's. 
Kadian's locked the door here yep. as well. Good positioning from him, understanding the situation. Broke, he's going to come back. He's going to investigate, but think about all the angles. Playground, fountain, then he's got to worry about party. So let's see, Broke, you've been quick. Oh, wow, the double zoom and everything, but Kadian gets away with it. It's away back at least here. Are they trying to save, or are they trying to get this done now in a three on five disadvantage here? Well, Broke in the smoke is just going to wait this one out. Kadian's going to find nothing on his little exploration, but he will stay alive. And it's so valuable for them to hold on to guns here. They need to buy every single round. If you get these upgrades from the MP9 and the Famous into something a whole lot nicer, sure, that is going to be much better for Heroic going forward. They're going to need 10 consecutive rounds if, well, they want to try and do what FaZe attempted on map one. Well, they've definitely managed to uh, upgrade from MP9s to AK-47s. Not a Famas in sight. Perfect upgrades from Heroic. So they make the most out of their success, at least in that one. That's crazy to think that this is the first round for Heroic in this half. It's gone so quick here. And it was still late, but Yabby there with a messy spray. Carrigan, moments away from taking him down. Tessas gets to activate. And that's the two kills there to really make a statement for Heroic. But they need to do that plenty times more. And I feel like Carrigan, he has a lot more opportunities here to call whatever he wants. Right? He's got so many rounds to work with. You don't just want to throw them away, but you can try a whole bunch of different approaches here. You have that liberty. This is where you can't doubt yourself if you're heroic. You need to make some good calls for the CT setups. You can't do anything that's too all-in. You need to be quite default with their approach, and that's exactly what you see here. Tess is on the jump spot. He's the backup for Kadian. There is that gap that Stown is acknowledging as part of this setup here. So there's the jump spot, and Kadian Ooh. starting to activate here. The flashes are coming, Alex. He should be dead, and he can't take anyone down. The support noted. They know the stat. What? Nice nade. Bang on the money. Tessus has got a strong arm on him. It was too quiet for too long. That's why Kadian started searching for info, but uh, oh, hold up a second. Stown is hiding in plain, plain sight on the other side. Bumping in to Carrigan. He profits. To They're back to B. Shush, Look at the angle. Yabby. He They're just looked away. This. He just looked away. Gets away, but advancing. Accelerating pedal to the metal, shush in response. He needs to disrupt, he needs to delay. Perfect flash, perfect spray. Phase counting on Brokey. Oh. Great shot, needs more, can't <laughs> get it done. Quickly. Yeah, you can see that in the reactions to a round loss. They do not want to linger here. Yeah, as I mentioned, it was hard for Heroic to take a lot of risks here. You're going to get Kadian lobbing out another monster smoke from spawn, so supporting with that AWP, but you can't take it. Oh, yeah, you see Ooh. definitely a, a big gap providing itself. They're going to come through this. They're on their way. Setups here. Good flashes. Rops. He is supposed to be the way in, but he's escorted out off the premises. Shush! This is his sight. And he continues to lay down more and more from Shush. Oh, five! from the Dane. And if that was off the timeout phase, they put all their heads together, talked it out, and they leave empty handed a full five man. Murder from Shush. Yeah, beautiful stuff here. Stown's not gonna be the one to step up the plate. Shush will be this guy right here, an anchor player for Heroic, comes in clutch. Well, this ain't a clutch, but it is impactful. Ace right here, mowing him down, not a single headshot in sight. Beautiful. Just body shots with that silence, then four, and that one's gonna feel good. A confidence builder there. And a spirit breaker for FaZe here. Charged halfway across the map for that one and uh, we'll just be holding a couple of deagles here. Good angle, good timing. It doesn't quite convert. Kadian posted on that aggressive party peak, fires off his shot. Ray now to occupy the territory. Kadian could get done overextending here as well. He doesn't have a lot of help. Tessus is trying to stay around, and there you go. Kadian will think the better of it. We've seen uh, that really come back to haunt certain teams. All the way back in the challenger stage, we were covering off a Mal's game where Torji overcooked the pooch a little bit. But Tessus, how many do you have available? Okay, easy rider. 
Spotted out some. Kadian's really dancing with the devil here, isn't he? He's not scared. Staring down the barrel of a run. Seven more. Not hearing these steps, they should be. Just puffing up their chest. Ooh, they the didn't. bathroom's right now. It didn't hard clear. It's a deep clear to get rain. They didn't. But they'll surely be aware that there's potential. Whoa! Another collapse! Violence! Gadian gets his second collateral of the quarterfinal. Brokey's had one, Cadian's had two. Yeah, what's going on here? A two for one special today. <laughs> Stylish orping for sure, and efficient, you could say. Well, ever since the AWP nerf, you know, they really have to uh, make <laughs> sure those bullets are bang on. This is one way to deal with it. Here's the Cadian. Boom. Straight through two. Brokey and Rops, the heaviest hitters. That glance at the feed processing while you just hit you. And so we ride in again, round 25. It's been quite the run back. Four on the trot, but FaZe, they just need one more. And now equipped with everything they need to pull it across the line. Cadian doesn't seem to think so, though, as he throws aggression into rain. And it's only pain. Cadian now has to watch as Mirage hangs in the balance. This isn't the first time they've been put in this position throughout this map. It's down. Wow. He wants to fight fire with fire here. Cadian gone. His chance to try and draw things back. He's going to need a double hit. It's down. Oh. That is a sharp shot, but under pressure from all angles. He should be going down. And Brokey ensures it. Tessus is still around, though, and the flash doesn't quite last. Brokey to reposition. A very divided heroic here. Yeah, but not this again. Information. How? We discussed this. How far does he go and what does he clear? Yeah, he might get info on the jump as well. I'm not sure if he spotted Tassus them. Tassus is so committed. He's retreating. I think he spotted them long and she's calling nothing here. So they're getting a good idea. Ah, but the gap can yeah. connect it a bit. Yeah. If Brokey wants to go connect, he has to go back past Tessus. And so does Twist if we inverse that situation. Trisha's finding nothing. There's nothing to report. The yeah. next fight is on Tessus here. You say that. Rops is calling B clear. Rops is calling B clear. They have to go though. It's still on Tessus. He's hearing the steps. He knows they're coming back. Nerve-wracking stuff, shush. Perfect, perfect flank, and he executes them both. Turn of the tide. FaZe, they thought this was theirs. They thought it was done. But shush's flank leads to an extension. 25 frags from Robs, but all of that information, all of that space, and nothing to boast. Zero dollars in his bank account. He's got to survive now. Hold on, hold your horses. All right, all right, all right. I think that one right there. I know you're talking about Shush's push, and he's had some great impact in the last couple of rounds here. But for me, it's all about Tessus. The fact he plays in such an overcommitted position in front of Divider, right? He's basically the caretaker of if anybody's coming up. Looking to witness them go the distance in this playoff game. A conservative one from FaZe. But don't forget, Rob preserved that AK, and he has been a persistent threat. Tessus, more forward this time in the head-to-head. -head. Scott and the Bear are twists, I'd reckon. And he might do so again. Straight to the head, no trade available. He scarpers. And victorious in the opening. Now they know where Rob's is. An AK unloads. Ooh, and he does chip away on that spray. Need a whole lot more of that, though. Snaking towards A here. Rain already far forward. Brokey and Carrigan not too far behind us. That smoke lands. They can stall things out and start to congregate. Stown's rotated over here in time. And look at them, just holding them back. There's no pressure towards B. Yabby's forward, position towards short. Helps them understand that it's likely going to be this A finish. Heroic. Not giving up. Holding on. Extending. As Cadian racks up another, as Tessus demanding control. Seizes it by force, and now that gap gets closer and closer. It seemed impossible with the run out of the gates. FaZe securing 15 straight out of that halftime break. You gotta keep things perfect still, and four more opportunities for FaZe to get this one done. Again, just a game of streaks here. Look at that recap. Yeah, it's crazy. Both of these maps as well. It just hasn't been as clutchy. It hasn't been as back and forth. It has had its moments. Quad boost right now. They're setting it up. Ooh. Great to the shot. 
Just a momentary delay. And it's still a five on five in play. They weren't able to punish like we've seen a lot of teams do on the CT side. There was no A rifler. They went with a four man B start. Tessas was part of that. It was only Cadian's AWP. So now as FaZe come back, they still have to worry about the pushes, but we know there's nothing for them to step on here as a problem. Heroic have just gone and reset completely into a passive stance across the map. This position from Yabby again. Didn't get found out in the previous. Why not? Rocket one more time. It gives you a lot of flexibility here and a lot of information. So we're at about that minute and 10 mark and it's essentially FaZe restarting the rounds here. They have tried to pressure through long before. We saw that on the pistol round, right? They were able to get up long, execute through, isolate those fights. Course the CT's forward. What is this final commitment then? They just don't have a lot of map control just yet. So some assumptions will have to be made. And as Rops makes his way up the connector, I think this one is starting to come to its conclusion. But Stown's rotation is miles away. Miles away here on an island of Tessus and Cadian. They need to get at least a couple of trades here. Interesting setup. Cadian has smoked, so Tessus can linger. Responsible for a lot here. Gambling. Worried. Back. Completely turned as Twist takes him down. Is this really the round? Oh! Tessus doesn't think so. Set up for success and caught chased alive and kicking. Rotation's here now. They got to get that bomb. They got to get a go. There's so much in rotation. Tessus hunted. Oh, he gets away from Rops. And he did that. Tessus. He keeps him alive. Heroic. They got Tessus to thank for that one. A quad kill from the Dane. Great indeed. Vicious and ferocious. He holds him a nerve and seven in a row, heroic. Still need more, three more. Let's see this one again because they wanted to clear Tessus, but as they rounded the corner, they just lined up. It was perfectly for a uh, place for him. That one might get a couple of cheers. Here it is. Oh yes, 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 Tessus, that is perfect. You see that, you have to snap shot. And even the final one, Whoa. Broke, you let him off the leash. He can go nuts. And that's crazy because that spacing coming in, they were accounting for him. Cadian getting fired up now. FaZe with another round that's going against them. Down to just another one of these partial investments here. The pressure, it can keep on coming, but so is the fight for Heroic. That's gonna motivate them, Chad. Again, they gotta be, be feeling. They're ready for B again. And drops, he's good for it. He's not stopping. Shush, caught out, twists, mad, fragging, two on the MAC-10, Tessa's blind, confused, and dead, has FaZe spring to life with a limited buy, and bulldoze B, Gadian in the smoke, and we 